All right, here's a video review for the Archcore Arc 06 Ursus Guard Moonstalker. We got Wolf Gary and Half Dan the Hunter here. Now, Half Dan is, again, some different swappable pieces, but the same kind of little small uh, scale posable figure that uh, Orrin Lodbrook was. Uh, we reviewed him before. I'm not going to get too deep into him. You can see he's got. Uh, He's got some differences there. Yeah, there's different chest. I think the shoulder plates are the same with different tampos, the same molding, though. Um, and overall, a lot of the same molding. The chest plates are different. Obviously, the head's different. He's got like a little beard and mohawk, um, different tampos on the knees. But for the most part, he even got the same basic cape, although, again, different paint decos. So different characters. Unfortunately, like this uh, didn't come with the, kind of the cool little flip-out stand that Orrin did. And I was hoping that would come with... All of them, but I get it, because he came with an, a, a separate accessory here and wasn't a standalone figure like Orin was. But it would have been cool if, if they came with those stands. I'm probably not going to collect a whole lot of these minifigures because I do have the other Wolf uh, vehicle pre-ordered as well as the trailer. And I think, I know, I know the other vehicle comes with another small guy, and I'm pretty sure the trailer comes with a couple of soldiers. So by the time it's all said and done, I'm going to have a few of these little guys. But they do sell some sets of just, like, packs of these small little figures. They're neat. Um, I don't know how many of those I'm going to get into because the mechs are really what would the appeal of these for me. Although these, these are really fun little dudes. I mean, he comes with, and I do have an open this, he comes with some little, all the little accessories. He's got a small little gun, a grenade, uh, the interchangeable hands that we've seen with Ord Lodbrok, and the little war horn here, a little copper war horn in there as well. But yeah, we'll show him off in a couple different things when we start messing with the car, but, uh, just another another little soldier guy, uh, which is cool to include. The vehicle itself, you can see here, is kind of a... Um, it, ha it has a little bit of a World War II-esque look to it. Like, I'm thinking of, like, the car Bumblebee turned into in Age of Extinction, which, again, was a, you know, um, a German car for the German soldiers. Um, and it does kind of have that look to it, but uh, with some clearly uh, alt-mode detailing here. Like an old school classic era, uh, mid forties, mid forties, early fifties, fancy lad car. Anyway, and it, it, it rolls. It's got some exhaust pipes back here. You can see the wolf mode head hiding back behind the armor here. But it's a neat little, neat little rolly vehicle. Uh, it can run, you know, can drive alongside the the vehicle mode, the truck mode of. Uh, Numerous, but anyway, it also, like I said, we have the wolf head back here, and it does turn into wolf. And honestly, like for all the things this thing does, I was expecting it to be a little bit more complicated than it actually ended up being. It's a, it's a fairly uh, simplistic uh, transformation here. So anyway, you go ahead and pop the front wheel wells off and rotate them, and bring these down and around. Extend the legs. Because like I said, this is going to be a wolf. No surprises. Uh, put the paws around. The uh, tail piece flips out. And then there's two individual little bladed pieces to extend the tail there. I actually want to bring these down like this. Like that. And then the same in the front. Although you want to be careful because this whole assembly separates. And if you pull too hard on these when you're pulling them out, you can see you'll start to unhinge the wolf head. And I... Uh, if that happens, just snap it back together. But you want to kind of support this strut right here as you pull these out. And it won't wiggle that out so, as much as it, as it wants to. We're going to bring those legs out and down and tab them from everything. It's the same kind of situation here. Get the tail up. Bring the paws around and down like that. Then this assembly right here, once you've got it unpegged from the wheel wells, comes up and sits onto the back. And then the wolf head lifts up on the neck here. Uh, and then these pieces come up here. Oh, you see it did separate a little bit, but just plug that back together if it does. Like that. And there, like I said, not too difficult. And now he's a wolf. And again, you can lift this up. This is on a hinge. His head hinges side to side. His mouth even opens, uh, even though this head does split right down the middle. So they did some neat, clever things there to keep all the jointing... Uh, like, Fans Hobby has done some stuff like that, but to keep it all jointed together there. And you got a wolf. Um, you can bring this down. You can flip this out because the uh, half dan can 
it's like a seat here, so you can have, take the cape off, you can have Half Dan ride the wolf in this little seat, and also uh, attack from the wolf because there is this larger sniper rifle included, and it is it is very large for the soldier, but uh, for for Half Dan, but it does have a handle that he's capable of holding, and, and a little a couple different handholds. It's got some little fold down uh, supports as well. But also, there's a couple different clips for weapons. There's a clip here that clips actually, I'm facing backwards, clips onto just above the actual clip on the sniper rifle, and then you can attach this to either one of these clips here on the back. So Half Dan can you know, have his arm up, have him hold the, the grip of the rifle and attack from the wolf. Which is kind of, yeah, I didn't get the hand all the way on, but you see what I'm doing. Which is kind of cool. He also comes with, again, I showed off some of the hands, he also comes with his own. There's, this is the other connector piece for some small bits um, in here, as well as he has also has a larger axe that he can wield as well. So there's that, which is very cool. And he can hunt alongside uh, Ymiris here. Just to give you a look at how that, that were his pet wolf. But, of course, there's more. There's always more. We'll go ahead and take these guys off. Unclip the sniper rifle. And then uh, this piece can fold up here like this. And you're going to split this. Here's where you're going to split everything here. So open this up. Kind of, you're going to basically fold the, fold the tail back up here, back into the, the grill of the car. Fold the uh, the rear legs back up, again over, and rotate the paw at the paw at the hinge there. Well, we didn't really talk about the articulation there, but again, you got you got ball joints at the hips, you got hinges at the elbows. The lower legs are one solid piece, but the paw has a hinge there and a rotation there. We showed what the head articulation. Um, the body has some swiveling in it. Um, oh, that's more for the wrist here, but we'll get to that. Um, but yeah, the, the legs have knee hinge, paw hinge. Uh, this one has a secondary hinge up here in the front, and then a ball joint at the body, and you saw what the head can do. So, But anyway, fold this up back and well, get these back up like this. Fold them around. Basically back to car mode. And then this piece, the, the wolf halves are going to fold up back here. And then uh, you can see there's two tabs that snap together, and you do want to fold the... Uh, the wolf legs back up into their vehicle mode position as well. And then the wolf heads um, fold in. Here's where their neck hinge is. There's a secondary hinge back here that allows this whole assembly to fold down and around. And then this long peg here is going to peg into the slot on this support strut. So fold that all the way down and tab that into place. And then kind of fold this up like that. And then same on this side, except this one does the long peg pegs into this, but he has a round peg here that's going to peg into this slot on the strut. Or I guess peg hole like that, and peg that in. And flip that up, and then this piece kind of comes up and snaps into place like that. And then you can fold out the fingers here, fully articulated. Uh, there's a thumb. I do wish the thumb the thumb can move like this and has a hinge here. I wish it could come. I wish this hinge could come up just a smidge from where it's at, but it's a very minor complaint. Or have a, a swivel. There's no swivel in it. The thumb can only move like this. And it can move up and down here and at the knuckle, but it, it doesn't have any sort of way to rotate in relation to the rest of the hand. A, mi a minor quibble, but a quibble. Uh, the fingers themselves, you can see, have a hinge right at the hand, a mid-knuckle, and then a fingertip knuckle. They're quite poseable, and they also, as you can see, can spread side to side, so you can get some good wide-angled, grippy hands there. And then this little handle folds out. You can see the slots back here. This comes in. You can see that little tab there. Tab that into place. You want to lock the rear wheels back into where they were for vehicle mode all the way. And you've got like a power gauntlet here. And you can, like, you can adjust these however you want. Uh, the heads pretty much have to stay in place. That's just where the strut puts them. But there's a handle here, much like on the shield that uh, Ymiris wields. And then a slot back here because you can take this, put it over his hand, and then take the little attachment point on his forearm 
slide it into there and lock it into place. So he's grabbing the handle as a means of support, but it does latch onto the forearm as well, quite securely. Um, and then you can kind of, you can wield this giant gauntlet fist, which uh, you can make into a punching thing. Uh, and it does put a little bit of weight on the arm, but the ratchets are strong enough. This, this way it, it holds pretty well. Um, up and down like this at, at a far extent. I mean, you can see it, it just bounced there and didn't fall. It doesn't take a whole lot of effort to get the, uh, the arm ratchet to, uh, to trickle back down a little bit in some of these positions, but it's for the, for the amount of weight you're putting on that arm, it's surprisingly sturdy. <laughs> look, look at that, he's, he's pretty much in a, a full on reach there. Although you can see that the gearing on the teeth is it's spring loaded and it's a little stretched there, but I'm not, in, there's no fear of it breaking. That swivel is more likely to give. So fairly impressive for its ability to hold that up. I wouldn't know if I, I don't know if I'd leave it there for a long time unless he's you know, was fully combined and holding on to the big flag that comes with the trailer piece, which we'll review when that comes out. But, um, but it's very cool. And um, one of the things that, like I put it on this arm here because um, one, it's, it's the right hand. I, I didn't know if the thumb could alternate uh, sides so you could put it on either hand, but it is the right hand. The drawback to that is I'd usually have the shield on the left and the hammer in the right. The non-drawback to that is that if you look here in the hand, while it doesn't have the tab for the, for the uh, hammer, it does have a groove here, so you can have this giant hand. You can clip that right into there, and you can have him hold the hammer with the giant fist, and it clips in very securely. It does add a little bit more weight to the arm. does make it a little bit more likely to uh, cause that joint to want to collapse uh, if you wiggle it too much. But, um, but yeah, he's got... Now he's fully armored up and holding all of his weapons and ready to just smack some people with his power hammer using his power arm, <laughs> which is really cool. Um, there, like I said, there's another wolf coming. It's black and teal and maybe like some silvery gray, um, which goes on the left arm. And if you want to do that, now that arm does not, the way this shield works, I, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna be able to get that into the fist to hold it like this. Now, will the, uh, will the other wolf have a tab or any way of attaching it? I don't know. But uh, one of the things that was pointed out to me guys, when I reviewed the main robot itself was this handle flipped out, but I wasn't sure what this tab was for. And it turns out this tab is to allow it to clip right here onto his back. So you can just, uh, actually you wanna go this way because this, the, the exhaust pipes need to fit up here where the handle is, uh, not where the uh, attachment point is. But you can plug this onto his back and you can store his shield on his back. So when you have both wolf arms are on, if he can't hold the shield, it can still store with everything attached, which is really cool. So it's, it's, it's a nice place to store it if you just don't want him to have the shield. Granted, when I don't have the gauntlet attached, I, th I think Ymiris looks great with the hammer and the shield. I think he looks like he's about to just smack some people down. But um, but yeah, it's, it's another fantastic piece in this line. I wish they came out faster. I know the uh, I know the next wolf is out overseas and has been for a little while, but it hasn't made it to most US retailers that I have seen yet. Um, some places have, still have it for pre-order. Some places have it pre-order sold out, but I haven't seen it in stock in stock. It's possible I'm missing it. If you know where I can buy one right now, let me know, because I would be love to have it. But um, but even, and, that, and one of the things that's really cool about it is he still looks awesome even with just one giant gauntlet. Like, it just looks really cool. Um, they're doing some really neat design stuff on this line, and if you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it because... The, the figures are solid, they're sturdy, they're a really neat design, and I want to see more original stuff like this coming out from other companies because they've got a really unique concept here, and I don't think you'd see something like this in the main Hasbro line. So I'm really happy to see it. I'm really looking forward to getting the other gauntlet, and then the trailer for the truck that also forms power armor for the rest of it gives them big shoulder pads and leg attachments and stuff that work with the wolves, the wolf gauntlets to make him just... A, a giant super robot. Looking forward to that a lot. But the thing is, that's, that's what I like about it. Even though there's, I know there's more pieces coming, like, it's not like a, when you're buying a combiner piece by piece from some of these, you know, from th some of the third party companies where like, oh, now I have a leg and a torso, but no other leg or no arm, arm to attach. And it kind of comes together slowly. They released the core robot first, who's super solid and fun. And I don't feel... Like, while I'm excited for the rest of the pieces, 
I can put him here with his gauntlet and, and the hammer and everything, and I still think he looks like a really cool robot, and I don't feel like I'm missing anything. I'm excited for the rest. I can't wait to see it all put together, but I'm not sitting here pining like, well, now I can't do anything with it, because he looks super cool right here with, uh, even with just this one gauntlet. I've kind of repeated myself a few times, and I apologize for that, but like, um, I'm really excited about this line. I really enjoy these figures. I'm happy to have the next one. I'm looking forward to the next one and, and beyond that. And I'm curious to see. I think I saw a preview of, potentially saw a preview of the faction that'll be coming out once he's all complete. Like, I, and I, I don't know if I dreamt that or if there is somewhere a shadowy preview of what the next big mech like this guy is going to be in the line. So again, if uh, maybe I'll find it and if I do, I'll post it. If, if not... Um, and you know where that was? If I'm not dreaming, uh, let me know because I'd love to see it again. I probably have, if I, if I saw it, it's probably saved on my phone. Anyway, fantastic line of figures, lots of fun, and, and I highly recommend checking them out. But there is Wolf Gary, the gauntlet here, Half Dan the Hunter, and their accessories from the Archer Core line, Archer Core, however you say it, uh, from Toys Alliance. But yeah. I mean, even if you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, but you like Warhammer, check out one of these guys. They're a lot of fun, too, on, on their own. But this mech is just really wowing me every single time a new thing comes in for it. Haha, <laughs> real quick at the end. I missed it because the instructions didn't show it off, and I just happened to catch it on the packaging as I was clearing out the review area. He's got little flip-out missiles here on his shoulders. Did not, not mention once in the instructions, but it is in the pictures, but this little panel here can flip up and give him a little shoulder missile. So uh, yeah, quick addendum, shoulder missiles, wolf shoulder missiles.